Alrighty, hello everyone, welcome to the episode review. Obviously, every single week I do the review, and yes, there are spoilers. If you don't like spoilers, and simply on the Friday day, just unsub and then after, sub right after you watch the episode. Again, there are spoilers for this one, so don't watch the review if you're not expecting spoilers. I, I, I don't even know what the point of saying this, since I know most people aren't going to watch the episodes through the official way. If you want to auto watch it through the official way, you use a VPN, VPN, and you go to the Koro Koro YouTube channel, C O R O C O R O. That's how you officially watch the episode. That's an official way to support it. So, if you're going to complain about spoilers, whatever, you better be at least watching the episodes normally. Anyways, with that being said, uh, let, let's begin. I do not have too many positive things to say about this episode. Um, we, we get cool character interactions. I, I think the biggest issue with this episode is that they just waste time. Like, the, it's literally what it boils down to. The whole thing is just like a waste. Of, like, it's, it's like filler. Like, you could skip this episode and like literally nothing important happens except for like one thing which was done really bad. <laughs> but you know, you see you see Drum and Iga with the whole Bay Bread thing. And they introduced all the legendary bladers. So there's Drum, there's Iga. Iga's uh Iga is there and Drum has this little funny face. Free, Silas, Louie, Hugo Nakaru, Lane. So they go through all the legend blighters, and oh, they do show off the new Achilles, which is called Infinite Achilles. It is Infinite Achilles 1B Dimension Dash. It does kind of suck that we're getting a repeat of Dimension Dash. Again, I did call this though, I said, you wanna know what? For Lord Spriggan, it's too convenient they give a Dimension Dash, because then after you're Later on, for the Achilles evolution, if they're recycling drivers, yeah, it makes too much sense they take Dimension Dash. The name Infinite Achilles is very weird of a name. Like, you'd expect, like, for Genesis to have, like, be, like, Infinite Genesis, but now they can't do that. The name, like, at first it sounds cool, like, oh, Infinite, it doesn't match Achilles at all. I, I think the fan-made names for Achilles win this time. Usually the fan name, the fan made names for bays aren't that good. I, I, I think it, it gets the case. Now we can just have something silly where you can have like infinite Achilles on infinity, the disc. Very weird they picked infinite of all things. Anyways, yeah, this is Iga and then after also for the profile on the site. Uh, this, again, I feel like this episode, the only good thing that came out of it was just the news of this Achilles. That was literally it. <laughs> because they waste time with Yuga messing around, just like, it's not, it's not even that special. Oh, here's something I'm going to really complain about. Why, why is Shu not in the, isn't the whole point of the legend, okay. If they're going to bring back these bladers, right? I'm sure the manga is just handled differently. If they're going to bring back these bladers, and the whole idea of the Legends Festival is to see who's the best legend blader through this festival, is Shu gonna be there later, or what's the story? Why is Shu not- well, he's clearly not there, if we look at the groups. Because the Legend Festival already started, so if we see the groups... Why? Why? Why not have Shu there, or... Why did they- why- why is there- okay. Here's the- here's now the weirdest- I'm sure Spriggan will eventually get it to episode, probably when they're training for the festival, but... We have World Spriggan Revealed. And, and she's, she's, not, she's not there, like... This is what I don't understand. It's like, why... Why World... Why would... Why is World Spriggan the next to be released and not Achilles? It makes no sense, because they have the CGI for Achilles in it. What was the... Why didn't they just put Spri... It doesn't make any sense. Maybe. Now, my guess is maybe they didn't put Achilles for the booster because they knew that with all the old parts repeated, not too many people would be interested in buying, so they throw it onto the random booster, which I think makes the most amount of sense. But it just sucks, man. Whatever. Most likely with Shu, we'll probably see him sometime in September with World Spriggan in the anime. So weird, man. 
Anyways, the battle begins. I would say it's a cool battle, if anything, but not really. They just go around. Like, Drum goes up against Louie. Oh, but they don't, because everyone gets pushed back by Lane. Well, they get pushed back by Lane. But everyone goes in the little spinny things on the speed storm, or whatever it's called. They all charge at him, and he goes, Re, I'm the antagonist. Here's my plot armor. And they said, what? Yeah, and they all lose. Like, okay, I'm all right with, I was kind of barely okay with him beating Free, but Free had an old bay, okay. He beats Louie, and I'm like, mm, why? How could he beat Louie? Okay, whatever, he's, he's a trained prodigy. Okay, maybe he's just really that strong and Louie was caught off guard. He beats every, now he doesn't beat everyone with a burst. So that's fine in that case, but even then, pushing them away, like, okay, if, if Drum, Louie, okay, like Silas and Nakara, I don't think are doing anything, but those four bays should do something, like, why, this is why I don't understand, I'll probably do this later, but why weren't they smart enough to where maybe Lucifer's barrier, the rubber blades, start to fall off, or they start to get worn, and Lane like sees that and he's like, oh my, and he makes a big deal and it's like, wow. You know, I need to be careful. It doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it's like an earned, like, it's not even like Phi where at least we could see Phi doing it and it makes sense. Like even in the, ep what battle royale was it? Episode 20 in Chosey? Even then, like, I don't know. I, I feel like the way they're writing Lane, it, it doesn't make any sense, man. It's really not good writing. And it's not good writing because this character is so strong for seemingly no reason. And it, there's like only so many excuses you can have for that. Okay, they were trained by Shu. Okay, so if they're trained by Shu, I could see why they probably could easily take down Hikaru and Hyuga. Okay, fine. He beat Free. Okay, Free had the old bay. He somehow beat Louie. It's like, okay, maybe he has a strong resonance. But like the barrier pushing them up? Come on. Why didn't they have it where maybe it was like Silas and Hikari that are pushed out and then Drum and Louie go together. Maybe he manages to beat Louie again, but then after Dragon at the last second only loses, it almost beats him, but it loses because of stamina. Like that, that would be, that would make much more sense. It feels much more earned that way. I, I don't know, man. It's what a, it is what it is. In the comment section, you can let me know your thoughts. All right, so next week is when Iga basically just shows off to Hyuga's infinite Achilles, and I guess they do the the other group battle royale. What is it supposed to be again, even? I'm trying to see. It's, all right, it's Hyperion versus Valkyrie versus Fafnir versus Ragnarok versus Achilles. Okay. So this one, probably gonna be last second. My bet is Rantaro's first to be out. They'll probably have Hugo go around, maybe classes with the Achilles a bit. Uh, I could see this either going to Aiga or Volt. I feel like, no, actually, you wanna know what? This might go to free. I don't know, I don't, is this already, has this already been revealed in the episode summaries? I don't know if it has. I think it's just that Aiga shows off his new Achilles. I think Free might actually take it now that I realize it. Because look, there's four right bays against one Fafnir, which is left. So I think maybe Free will go for a light launch. He'll probably do a slow-mo burst on maybe one of them. And it'll probably last till the end. Yeah, I think that makes the most amount of sense. So in terms of next week, there's that. Stay tuned for it. And yeah, man, that's really it for now. This episode really was not that good. I feel like they're making Lane way, way too strong. Like before it was like, oh, okay, whatever. Now it's like they're kind of pushing it. They're kind of like, uh, how far can we go? But whatever, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Tell me your thoughts and have an awesome and amazing day.